Good day, guys. Being here. Um, this time, let's model this uh, this one. Okay. So let's start. Um, so first, we're going to model a pattern-based family. So as as you can see, uh, it's a re re repeating uh, pattern. So basically, we just need to model one. So I just do a, uh, I'll do a screenshot. So we just need to model this one. Okay. So I just uh, uh, draw it here. So basically, this pattern can be modeled use a few points for one, two, three, four. And of course, we ch we need to try to um, you know try to make it uh, look like this. Something like this, right? Okay, so let's start. So, so this is a pattern-based family. So we're going to. Uh, so first, we need. Uh, let's place. Oops, where is it? Here. So first, we need to place one, two, three, four, four points. So I think we can just use the midpoint. Um, so draw point, draw on face. Oh, sorry. Yeah, draw on face. Yeah, draw on face. Okay, so draw on face and place four points okay so the next um, if we directly place a uh, connect them it will be all straight line um, of course that's not what we want and if we connect these three so we will create this still not uh, perfect um, um, we, we want something like this okay so so what we're going to do is I just control Z and place one point. Use draw on work plan, set work plan, pick pick the uh, vertical so tab. So this work work plan and place it on the point. And then I'll just drag this a little away from that point. And um, let's have a look again. So this one's okay, and uh, let's just play. So actually, I'm going to just place another point. Use draw on face, okay? So draw on face, and place it maybe roughly here, and maybe place another one here, <laughs> okay? So, and then at this point, um, I think I'm going to do the same as this one. So I'll use draw draw on work plan, set work plan, pick the vertical work plan of this point and place it there and then drag this slightly away from that point now I want to try so select all these points create a spline yeah I think this one's cl uh, closer to this shape or this one maybe we can just slightly adjust this point uh, maybe go there a little bit I think um, something like this and maybe this one instead of you know have this just typing one I think this is okay maybe um, uh, maybe this one move up a little bit so let's um, for example I try to move uh, this offset this a little bit uh, maybe uh, 100 yeah, I think that's that's better. Okay, so let's do another uh, one. So let's have a look. So this one's zero point roughly four zero four five. Yeah. So maybe let's make it uh, zero point four uh, four five and make this zero point five. So it's easier to to match. So now let's place another two points on here so this one will be because this one's 0 0.5 this one oh so it looks like this is uh, this one's on the other direction so uh, 0 0.55 and it's 0 0.6 okay so and then we need another one here so I'm going to I'll see if I can copy this one so copy this one to the other direction type 200 so and I just want to check. So move this point. Yeah, good. So now I'll select these two, these three, and another two points, and create a spline. And 
Yeah, I think this is uh, good. So now uh, make the reference line and then select one of them. Oh, actually, actually, I'll see what happens if I create form. Uh, this will create a solid, I believe. Yeah, maybe not. Or, or even, let me try to delete. Ah, no, doesn't work. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. So only select one. Okay, select this one and create form. So this will create a surface. Right? And also tab, select, and create another form. Now select this surface. So here we have this, we can create a parameter for the uh, for the height or um, thickness or depth. So I'll just call it height and OK and OK. Select this one, I'll just link to the same. And also we can uh, create a material, OK? Let's call it material. All good, and this one's finished. And also, um, let's adjust the height a little bit because this one in the actual model, um, it's quite small, it's very small. So maybe uh, like a 100 by 100. So maybe we can change this uh, grid to 100 by 100. Uh, something's not right. Uh, okay, I think it's probably because we because of um, this one, because this one's a uh, hundred offset, roughly a hundred offset. So it's not 90 is offset from this direction, the red uh, direction, but because we have that off, uh, uh, offset um, by 100, let's make move it by, back by 90. So uh, uh, yeah, I think this should uh, fix the issue. And also, maybe I'll just move the, the uh, adjust this to 10 offset as well. Okay, that's better. So now let's try to change this one back to 100. Yep, all good. Uh, yeah, we just need to change the height. So let's try 100. Uh, still 50. I think that's good. So changing the scale. Okay, so this is it. So now let's have a um, test in a in a project. So let's go create a project, and we're going to use model in place mass. Okay, so first uh, I'm going to just create a a flat like a ceiling panel in this image. Okay, so I'm going to oh, actually I'm going to do it in uh, level one model in place. I'll just use um, mass. Okay, okay, and then create a shape. So I'll just draw a rectangular, uh, not too big uh, because my computer is a bit slow. Uh, let's make it um, two meter by three meter. Okay, so now select this for reference line, create a form, and create a surface. Let's have a look in 3D view. Yeah, that's it. And then use divided surface. And then I'm going to change this one to fixed distance and change them to 100 by 100. Okay, so now uh, let's go back to that family, load it into project, select this divided surface and change this one to the family we just did. Okay, so this is it. So as you can see, it looks okay, good. And also you can change the scale. So for, uh, so for example, this one currently is 100 and 100. So you can, so for example, I'll try different scale. So yeah. And also you can go edit type to change the depth or height. You can change the material as well. Okay, and this is it. And also, I, I think this uh, this one you can also use this for different. Uh, uh, you can use this family for different use. For for example, this is a kind of ceiling um, uh, panel, and you can also use it for. So for example, for 
uh, some screen. So uh, I'll just quickly let let me just finish this mess, and I'll just create another one. Okay, so let's go to 3D view, and I'll just create another um, mess. So for example, uh, this one I'm going to just use a uh, draw a maybe I'll just draw a spline on the work on a level. So okay, so this is spline, and I'll just create a form. So okay, and then I'll just uh, edit the top um, profile. So I'll just uh, delete and draw another spline. So make it uh, interesting. Okay, so uh, finish. Now we have an interesting shape, and then you can use divide surface. And we can so this time let's make it slightly bigger so uh, reduce the number of um, families. Oops, sorry, wrong one. So, no, 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 no. I want to change uh, change the fix change to uh, distance first. Maybe I'll use max maximum spacing. Okay, so and then let's try 300 by 300 for example. Okay, now we can apply that pattern-based family onto this, and it become a, a a screen, for example. Yeah, and then we can also um, uh, actually this one share the same uh, family too with that one, so I better I better um, duplicate. Okay, let's call it a three. Oops, sorry, wrong one. Three, okay, and ch I'll change this the depth of this one, fifth one fifty. So, so it will only affect this one, not that one. Okay, so this is it. Um, yeah, and you can change the direction orientation or direction as well. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. Um, if you have any question, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.